I've got Grams on the outside of the spring scale. Hi, everybody. Carrie here with Snow School. And my guest this week is Jen Morse, and she is a snow scientist with the Institute for Arctic and Alpine Research. Uh, Jen, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So uh, you're a snow scientist, and you do a lot of field work. So I was wondering, before we get uh, going on our activity today, I was wondering if you would tell us a little, little bit about what your work involves. Sure. Um, I actually think I have one of the best jobs in the world because I get to be outside in the mountains um, at least twice a week, every week. And I run a lot of the data collection for um, the long term ecological research site on Niwot Ridge in Colorado. And we measure all kinds of things. We measure temperature, we measure how much it rains, how much it snows. And scientists have actually been measuring these sorts of things on Niwot Ridge um, starting in 1952. So almost 70 years worth of um, records. And one of the things we measure a lot of is snow. Uh, there we seem to be having snow melt earlier in the season than it used to. So we've been measuring snowpack on Niwa Ridge for about 25 years. And every week we go out and dig something called a snow pit. And one of the really important things we wanna know from the snow pit is how much water is in the snow that's on the mountains. Because the amount of water in the snowpack is what's really important. Um, for all kinds of things, for the rivers, for the streams, for all the people that use the water from those, and of course, for the animals and the plants. Okay, so the way we measure how much water is in snow um, is actually by weighing the snow. And we use this little cookie cutter kind of guy. Cool to get a triangle of snow out of the snowpack. And then you take a scale like this. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. Okay. And we just weigh our snow. And so what's really cool about the shape of this is that it is 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters yeah, I'll do it this way. 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 20 centimeters. So 20 times 10 times 10 is 2000 cubic centimeters, but it's a triangle, so it's only half. So this, when it's full, is 1000 cubic centimeters, which is also equal to 1000 milliliters in case you guys are doing this at home with a... Um, Sorry, like a measuring cup in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. So when you weigh it in grams, it's really easy to figure out what percent of water is in the snow. Because if you have a thousand cubic centimeters, and let's say it weighs 500 grams, then you know you, your snow is 50% water. And you know that because one cubic centimeter is of water weighs one gram, or one milliliter of water weighs one gram. Okay, it's pretty simple. <laughs> okay, so um, bef so before you head out to get this this sample of snow, you're gonna um, tell us what you're gonna do. Well, I'm gonna weigh my sampler so that I can subtract the weight of this from the weight of the snow, because otherwise taking the sweep of this object, which doesn't make any sense. All right, so I'm gonna put my units on grams. All right, and I am getting 767 grams. So I'm gonna write that down, just in case my scale turns off when I go outside. And then this particular scale has a way to re-zero, so it'll just automatically subtract the weight of that. Nice. Um, but I always write it down in case the batteries die or something mid experiment, which it often does when you're doing this in the mountains. Good tip. All right. And I'll be right back with some snow. All right. Good luck. 
All right. So here I am with my snow. Nice. I've got this really cool that allows me to get a nice clean cut. So I know and I'll have like an extra chunk of snow up here. Yeah, that's Change beautiful. It. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to weigh it. And, and this is actually pretty heavy wet snow for Colorado. Um, I'm getting 245 grams. So if you do the math, that means this is about, well, it's 24.5, but I'm going to call it 25%, which means that this snow is about one quarter water or 25% water. So if you were to melt all that down, um, 25% of it, uh, of that volume will be, will be water. And the rest is, the rest is air. The rest is air. Nice. Cause that's, what's one of the fascinating things about the snowpack is the snowpack is mostly air. Yeah. Cool. Or that you have more than 50%. Not really great skiing snow though. I wouldn't say. Yeah. A little, a little heavy, a little wet. A little heavy for Colorado. We like what? 8%, 6%. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Thanks so much for demonstrating that. That, uh, that was fantastic. Um, so I don't have a density cutter, uh, like that with me right now. And I know most of our snow school students don't. So one of the things that we're going to try to do here is, uh, is mimic your methods with things that we can find, uh, at home. And so the challenge, uh, the next part of this video is going to be to use something like this, uh, something you find um, in a kitchen. Like this is uh, this measuring cup goes up to 500 milliliters, um, so about half the uh, volume of your uh, density cutter that you had there. And to use a tool like this and maybe a kitchen scale uh, to try to figure out the the snow water equivalent of the snow uh, in our own backyards. I think that'll be great if you have everything you need, and I think. It'd be fun if kids try to have their parents guess how much water is in the snow. That is a good idea. We'll definitely do that. All right, so I've got my measuring cup that I found in my kitchen, and I also have a kitchen scale that I found. And just like Jen, I'm going to weigh the empty container before I go collect a sample of snow. And it looks like it weighs about 111 grams. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm trying not to pack the snow down. I'm trying to get a representative sample of snow as uh, it's found out in nature. Okay, so I've collected a sample of snow here. And you can see that using milliliters compared to a cup here, my instrument here, my measuring instrument is not as precise as Jen's, but you can see that it's almost imperceptible uh, to the eye, the, the difference here. So 250 milliliters. Uh, is about a cup of snow. So we'll weigh our sample. It looks like the container and the sample of snow together weigh about 153 grams. All right, so some quick math here can help us figure out the water content of our sample. Uh, we need to subtract the weight of the container from both uh, our samples of uh, snow and water. And then we'll divide just the weight of the snow by just the weight of the water. And that gives us our percentage. And we can see here that we've got about 16.8% water content in our snow sample today. And if we want to figure out snow water equivalent, we need an additional measurement. And that is we need to go out uh, and figure out how deep the snow is. And we could even just use a yardstick like this. Um, and if I was to use the example of the, of the snow we just uh, collected, let's say you had about 10 inches of snow on the ground right? There's about 10 inches. Um, if the water content of the snow is about 16.8%, then if you were to melt all that snow down, you'd have about 1.68 inches of water sitting on the ground. All right. Good luck, everybody.